Streets of Hamilton played host to round three of the V8 supercars as Ford looked to continue their domination of the series. Ford performance racing, fastest in practice, straight to the top of the timesheets in qualifying. Winterbottom has gone to the top of the tree at 22.8. They'd be looking to qualify in the top 10 before shooting out for grid spots. Craig Lowndes briefly shuffling the forwards down the list before the championship leader clicked into gear. Oof. Blow the mirror against the side of the concrete there and down towards the start finish line. And does this vault Davis into the top? And it does. He's the first now in the 21s. Jamie Wincup would have his moments, but do enough. Local hero Shane Van Gisbergen would push his foot a little too hard. No major damage done as he squeezed into the top 10. Will Davison franking his practice form to confirm he'll be the last man out in the top 10 dominated by the Blue Oval. Just the three Holdens managing to qualify for the battle for pole position. Steve Owen would be first forward off the rank. Didn't take too much of the curve but he's locked it up big time up to five. The tight Hamilton layout taking a toll. James Moffat not recording a number after launching his Falcon. Now oh, go through turn four. Gives it a big whack on the left-hand side of the Norton Ford. Steve Johnson, too, a little rough around the edges. They were expecting fireworks when the Kiwi Van Gisbergen began his run, but it surprised plenty. This has been a really committed and clean lap. This will be a good time for Shane Van Gisbergen. And he goes to the top, a 122.4. Fifth out in the first hold and Jamie Wincup wouldn't threaten the Kiwi. Down on all sectors. A curb violation would cost Mark Winterbottom. His lap erased from the record books. And Gisbergen's time holding up until Garth Tander hit the track. He loves this place. He's had so much success here. Is this going to put him to the top? It does. Craig Lowndes would have a shocker, unable to stop his Holden. It would leave the championship leader, Will Davison, with the only chance of knocking Tander off pole. Bumps it got away from him at just the wrong moment in three. That might have a really critical impact on the last little digit. Davison only managing sixth fastest. Garth Tander finishing with his first pole of 2012 and second at the Hamilton circuit as Holden upstaged the Fords, which had been so dominant in the lead-up to qualifying. Great job by the team. The cars have been getting better and better and better all through practice and the uh, car was awesome today in qualifying. So uh, we've given ourselves the best chance to start. So we'll just see how we go in the race. David Murdoch, Big Pond Sport.